You guys can see I've got the coil placed back on the original former. Of course, slid that over. The coupling seems to be correct. That is the distance between the uh, primary coil, which resides on the bottom in this transformer, and the secondary coil being here. And that puts me back at the same position of the original coil. The inductance of this coil is about uh, two to three hundred uh, micro henrys less than the original coil so some additional capacitance may be needed when I'm back in circuit but uh, I'm thinking not because there should be some stray capacitance once I'm back in circuit and uh, I think we can still get this thing to uh, resonate at the 485 kilocycles once the uh, shield is back on and once it's soldered back in but time will tell you can see on the oscilloscope, everything still looks good. The polarity is correct. That is the phase. And uh, we're looking good. You'll notice the coil itself has a little less wax. I took my little micro therm device and I went back over the coil. Had a little bit of the wax uh, drip off. Let's take a look at the uh, first IF transformer. I pulled it out because I want to take care of new lead dressing on it and I found something uh, very interesting thought I would share with you guys even though the health of the first IF transformer tested good in circuit I wanted to uh, take it out and I'll go ahead and redress the leads you can see the red indicates our uh, B plus input this is our uh, plate connection and the green being the uh, grid back over to the uh, IF amplifier. One thing that's uh, interesting, if you look at the uh, waveform here, on the scope, the way the transformer was connected in the circuit, we're out of phase. I can correct that by reversing the uh, plate and the B plus leads, but it looks like my amplitude of the signal is a couple volts better by switching the grid with the uh, return lead here white. So that's what we'll do. So it's interesting. It makes me wonder if the uh, transformer had been disconnected at some point and someone probably didn't resolder the grid lead to the transformer most likely the B plus and the plate leads were reversed since they're in close proximity to each other or it is the possibility the uh, transformer when the leads were placed on it were uh, just incorrect but uh, I'm betting since this radio has been worked on in the past these two leads were swapped at some point in time you know after a closer look you can see the uh, lighter color of this lead it may not be showing up on camera well but I can see just a little bit of a red tint this lead has a, a bluish tint to it. So that doesn't uh, mean that the transformer at some point in time the leads were not uh, reversed in the circuit, but this being my B plus red blue that leads me to believe this is correct. So now I'm leaning that the uh, transformer when it was put together, maybe in the factory itself, the uh, grid leads here and the uh, return lead, which I've got identified as white, was reversed. So up next, I'm going to get the power transformer out of the receiver, the tuning condenser, which is extremely rusty as well, and uh, start doing some cleaning on the chassis and decide what steps we need to take there to mitigate the rust.
and uh, then start replacing the uh, old capacitors and uh, probably the majority of the resistors in there as well. Clean up the wiring, then we'll get these IF transformers back in as well. I appreciate you guys uh, watching, following the series. Everyone out there, uh, take care, stay well.